Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite in-game basketball drills. Now these are movements in basketball that you would be doing in game that we can run in drills. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball drills. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to have player 5. He's going to be cutting in towards that low post and he's going to be popping out. It's going to be a V cut. From there, once he hits that low post, he's going to be popping out. And the coach, that's our coach. Even though he's wearing a ref's uniform, he is our coach. He's going to be passing the player five. Meanwhile, player five blue is going to try and recover. And player five red is going to take his shot before player five recovers to guard him. Now, once we have ran this through a few times, player five is going to get his rebound, pass back to the coach. He's going to go in the back of that line. He'll go in the back of this line. Once we run this through a few different times, What's going to happen is we're going to now take one dribble and a shot. So player one, three is going to pop out. Coach is going to pass him the ball. He's going to take a fake, a shot fake possibly. And then he's going to take one dribble one way or the other. And he's going to take his shot. Going to get his rebound, passed back to the coach. Now these are movements that you do in game that we can practice in these drills. Now in this next drill, actually we will only need one pylon, what's going to happen is player one is going to be showing to the high post and we're going to be, once the coach says go, player one is going to leave for the high post, player three is going to cut across, he's going to touch that pylon, the coach is going to pass to player one and player one is going to take that shot before player three can get there to block his shot. Once we've ran this through a few different times, what's going to happen it now is we'll have player 5 blue. He's going to go and touch that pylon. Player 5 red is going to go to that high post. But now instead, he's going to do some kind of a fake. And he's going to take a one dribble drive down the middle of the key or down the right side of the key for that layup. Meanwhile, player 5 blue is going to be defending him. Now, so far, all of these drills are fantastic to run with any age of basketball team. You're getting a little bit of cardio, but you're doing the movements in drills that you would normally do in game. Now, in this next drill, what we're going to have now when the coach says go is for player four. He's going to cut right across the three-point line, or the baseline, sorry. He's going to pop out towards the three-point line. And the coach is going to pass him the ball. Meanwhile, when the coach said go, player two red at the front of the line, he's going to run to this pylon, touch the pylon, and he's going to try and cut off player four. And hopefully player four gets off a shot or a layup. This is a great cardio drill as well that can help player four really, when after finishing his cut along the baseline, to take a shot, take a mid-range shot, or go in for the layup. These are all movements that would happen in game. And then player two, what he's learning is to pop back down to play defense like if he's playing help defense. Now in this next drill, player the, the right side is going to be the one boxing out the left side. So what we're going to have is two players, the first two players in line. And they're going to be defensive shuffling, both facing towards the rim. They're going to be defensive shuffling across the key. Each time they get to the side of the key, they're going to be touching that key's line. And they're going to be running back and forth, back and forth. Defensive sliding back and forth, sorry. Once player or once the coach shoots the ball, they're going to go and have player one box out player five. And then this ball needs to bounce once on the ground before one of those two players gets that ball. Now what we are hoping for is player 1 to get that ball. However, if player 5 gets that ball, that's one point for that team. You can run this drill up to 10 points if you would like, and whichever team wins, they can choose the punishment for the other team, which that whether that be skipping down court, squat jumps down court, running down court and back, it's totally up to that other team. And then once you have finished having one team being the box out team, you can switch it over so that now they're the team that's not boxing out. They're the ones trying to get around the box out to grab that rebound. Okay, so now we're going to be utilizing two coaches. If we don't have two coaches, we can get a parent or another player to throw up the shot. So what we're going to have is the first two players in line. One is going to be the rebounder. Another one is going to be the outlet pass. Same as down here, one is going to be the rebounder, one is going to be the outlet pass. And what's going to happen is 
both of these coaches are going to shoot the ball. The player four red and five blue are going to get that rebound. They're going to outlet the pass to player three, in this case player two on the other side, and then they're going to be cutting down court. Meanwhile, when they're cutting down court, what we want to see at once they hit half court is for this player to then pass the ball down to that player. They're going to follow that pass, and meanwhile, they're going to try and catch up to play defense on that player without fouling. That player is going to finish with a layup, and then we're going to be going on to the next two players in line. Now, I hope that these drills help your team win more games with these in-game movements in drills. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. If you and if you have anything to add, leave the comment below as well. And I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.